so hard that my wrist, my whole wrist had a, a bruise on it. My eye was uh, a scar, swollen. They 302 me to make it seem as if I was crazy, you know. Um, but at the same time, these things would not be happening if we supported our brothers and you know sisters in this struggle. I'm talking about the new, uh, new Black Panther Party, you know, um, because they are here to help us with these issues. But I look around, I, 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 I really don't see a lot of people here. You know, um, I made it a priority to be here today. You know, um, I'm up here talking with no teeth in my mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, um, but we gotta love ourselves like the brother was saying over here. We gotta look out for us because, I mean, Wall Street knows who we are. We're the fifth wealthiest nation in the world. That's how they look at black people of America. We make the least amount of money, but we spend the most. So 99.9% .9 of what we making is going to the Chinese man over there, is going to the Puerto Rican man right there, but it ain't going into our own pockets. We're not actually recycling the wealth in our community. You know, it's going out of our community. So our young brothers are forced to sell drugs because there's no opportunity here. The poppy ain't gonna give you a job. The Chinese man ain't gonna give you a job unless you cut the meat behind there, but you ain't gonna have no power. You ain't gonna make no real money. So what we gotta do is use our power, our economic power, so we can actually make some moves and solve the problems that are in our uh, 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 neighborhoods. Because if, if, if we don't stand up, I used to be a thug, I used to sell drugs, I used to rob people. I done been through all that. I used to live right here on uh, 29th and uh, Newkirk Street. I used to smoke PCP. I used to act crazy. But I had people who saw something in me, you know, and, and that I actually, like, respected. I didn't really respect my mom. My pop wasn't there. I had older people that was like, it's something in you. You got something in you to bring to the world. I'm an artist. I do music. I do positive music. But since I do, you know, positive music or music that's not uh, 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 promoting black on black violence, that's not teaching uh, young girls to be whores, you know, I can't get a record deal. But I don't, I, I, I don't even really want that. You know, that's why I got my own company. I got my own label. And I'm doing my own thing because I choose to not sell my soul. And you can look behind you and see a brother right there who did. Rick Ross. You know. So we, you know, if 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 Tupac made a, a, a statement, he said that when he tried to talk to brothers and sisters, he realized that we all believed that we couldn't survive and make it collectively. So what we do is we stab each other in the back to make it and run and give that dollar to somebody else that don't look like us. And like I said, we generate trillions of dollars, about five trillion dollars a year, a year. It don't take that much for us to turn this thing around. All, all it really takes is that consciousness shift, you know, and for us to come out to these events to open our minds up to something different. You know, um, I know I'm supposed to be talking about police brutality, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's, a, a, it's a lot of things that we need to address and put to the forefront right now, because I mean, it's, it's, it's really not that hard. You know, um, like I said, we generate so much money that we can change this thing next year. If only half of us get our minds right. If 20% of us come together and say we're gonna use our power, our money, and then we show these other people that don't wanna get down, you know, at the ground level, because we 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 are attracted by success, and we believe that uh, 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 being real with your people and looking out for us and having love for each other will not be successful. He done convinced us that the only way that we're going to be successful is to stab each other in the back. Now I'm here to tell you that that's, that's incorrect. A nation divided will never have control of itself, will always be under the foot of somebody else. 
Mm. And we, and we are the power. This country can't do nothing without black people. Black it never could. And that's why the drug money that's, that's, that's coming from these streets is secretly keeping the American economy afloat. They talk about the gross national product that they can track. The money that's being spent legally. But what about the money that they, they can't track? It's coming, coming off of these streets in our neighborhoods all across America. Billions of dollars is flooding right back to Wall Street to keep this thing afloat. But they're not going to tell you that our young brothers and our young sisters that's out here selling, they sold and selling this, 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 these drugs is keeping America afloat. You know? So we got to understand that we, are, we have always been a, a top class top priority commodity That's right. so if, if if we exploit ourselves and not let others exploit us we can turn this thing around so fast but I'm gonna get it back to my brother you know um, black power, black power. I, love I love y'all you know my love